Welcome to the support videos for Workload Automation video series. Have you ever needed to forecast jobs in Control-M to show what time frame they are estimated to execute in? Let me show you a way to do that in Control-M Forecast and also export that information out to a file. So here in the Control-M Enterprise Manager GUI, I've opened up the forecast domain and I'll open up a folder and we'll see the resulting forecast. If I do a what if scenario, for example, uh, by time frame, this would show what would happen if we shifted their submission times, which may not be what you're looking for at this point. Let's say you want to show when they are estimated to execute, but in a list format, and then report on that. So first you set the list view up here under view, and then what you'll need to do is scroll to the right, and you'll see that you can find these start exec and end exec times. And this is going to show you the actual estimated run times, not shifting of when we're submitting it based upon a what if scenario. So if you're looking for a specific time frame, you'll just need to note those times. So maybe something like between 950 and 955, something like that. What you can do then is either right click on the list or you can click on file and save as. So if we do that, we'll go ahead and save this to a file. And then once it gets created, we'll be able to open up that file directly here from the GUI. So here you'll see everything in the nice same format, but you can manipulate this within an Excel file. And uh, if you need a specific time range, then from this file, you can pull everything based upon that range. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was valuable information. Let us know if the Workload Automation Support Team can help should you need our assistance.